There are several other big races in tonight's primary. A spotlight on the Democratic battle for the state's 7th congressional district. This race unusual, two incumbents going head to head. AP has called it for Lucy McBath tonight. A Democratic portion of McBath's old 6th district got moved into the 7th during redistricting. I think everybody assumed this was going to be close. That, that's not been the case. McBath now is going to wrestle that seat away from Carolyn Bordeaux, who won the seat two years ago. But these things change very quickly. And with that change in district, it is now Lucy McBath, as Associated Press says, that she is the winner. And we're going to begin with 11 Allies, Rebecca Lindstrom. She is with uh, Carolyn Bordeaux's party tonight. And not much of a party here at 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. Well, it is winding down, but they say that is because of the time, not because of any news that has come from the Associated Press. In fact, they believe that there are still plenty of votes to count and that they are going to be going home to watch those election results come in. Carolyn Burdo was here earlier this evening, taking about 20 minutes to talk with her supporters. There is no doubt, though, that this evening the shooting in Texas has kind of altered the tone of what would have normally been a more joyous time for these supporters to get together. While gun control is an issue that Lucy McBath has tried to use as one of her primary platforms in her campaign. Bordeaux says it's an important issue to her as well. With the son in elementary school, she calls today's act a grievous blow. You know, it just brings us to our knees when we see this. But I suspect many of us, myself included, are deeply frustrated that this happened 10 years ago in Connecticut, and we still have not addressed gun safety reform. So, I carry with me back a lot of frustration that I know a lot of people here feel, that we need to start delivering for the American people. And gun control is one of the areas where we need to deliver and get results. Of course, as we head into the new year, only one of the Democrats, either Lucy McBath or Carolyn Bordeaux will have the chance to be fighting that fight in Congress. Uh, obviously, as we talked about earlier, Lucy McBath choosing to run here in the seventh. So now you've got two incumbents running against each other. And those supporters here stay. Again, there's still plenty of votes to be counted. They're not yet giving up. Back to you. Rebecca, thank you so much. Now let's head over to the Hilton Atlanta Northeast for Congresswoman Lucy McBath. 11 Lives Kristen Crowley following that race for us this evening. Uh, what's the reaction there now that the AP has called this race? Yeah, a lot of excitement here, although they have not announced it in this hall that the AP has called the race. It was just a few minutes ago, maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago, uh, one of the campaign managers came on stage and said that they had heard some confirmation from a few places, but they wanted more confirmation that she had actually be the projected winner. And they haven't been back since. So I am not sure this room is very aware at this moment right now. I can't imagine, though, once they are, that this is going to erupt in a bunch of applause. They were watching some Lucy McBath videos on the television a little bit earlier and applauding every time she spoke. We had a few questions going into tonight. You know, was was McBath going to win? And if, if she did OK, was she going to go into a runoff? Well, looks like both of those questions are answered right now. It seems that she is the projected winner for this district. And what was one of the most contentious races out of all of Georgia just because it was two colleagues turned competitors. Now, again, there has been a little bit of, a, of um, a shift in the night tonight because of what happened in Texas. McBath says a lot of her focus today, not on the race, not on how she does, but on those victims in Texas. And it appears that McBath is actually going to be coming up here and speaking to us soon. We'll give you an update as soon as we can.